It's a new way to build safer and stronger homes. It is coming to the Sunshine State. And the material, well, it's something you might not expect. We're talking about styrofoam. You heard right, Florida company Vero Building Systems is aiming to pave the way for more durable homes that can withstand the winds of a Category 5 hurricane as well as other natural disasters. Yeah, so the CEO and co-founder Annette Rubin joins us now. And so Annette, I have to say, and especially as a Floridian, you think about <laughs> styrofoam and you think of those coolers and the takeout containers, mm -hmm. and they don't really think <laughs> that they're gonna be withstand Cat 5 hurricanes. So what properties or features makes the styrofoam homes kind of hold up to the strongest storms? Yeah, absolutely. So it's not exactly the same as what you would see, you know, in just your typical styrofoam cup. So it's construction grade polystyrene with double galvanized steel wire mesh on either side. And then it's finished with shotcrete. Um, so after the concrete cures, that's really what's going to give your structure that incredible strength to withstand a Cat 5 hurricane. And, you know, one of the things, too, when you talk about being able to withstand, especially a major hurricane, but typically where we see these tropical systems taking aim, it's a humid environment, it's a damp environment, it's got quite a bit of rain. Would this be something that could withstand the elements throughout the year as well? Yeah, absolutely. So Vero, at Vero, we're really proud to offer a complete solution. So we have 11 different completely customizable panel types from your exterior load bearing walls, your interior walls, your floors, your stairs, and even your roof. So when, um, when a complete structure is built with our panels, there are no cold joints, which means it's completely mold resistant and also pest resistant too, which is huge here in Florida. And Annette, I, I know you guys have done the test. Mm -hmm. We've seen some of the video. You said it's bulletproof. It can go up to 200 mile per hour wind. So we know the durability. Let's talk about the affordability. Is this a realistic home option in terms of how people can maybe afford to make some of these cha uh, changes? Yeah, absolutely. So in general, um, any structure built with our skip panels is going to have a higher value than traditional builds, and that can be up to 25 to 30 percent higher end value. Um, here in Florida, obviously your front end costs are always going to vary. Here in Florida, residential is predominantly built with CMU block. Um, and we are going to come in at about 25 to 30 percent more affordable than CMU block. We are also really competitive with lumber. And in some cases, we can come in under lumber as well. I think it's so important because everybody has a right to safe housing when in these Absolutely. very dangerous storms, right? And it is extremely expensive to hurricane-proof your home. I want to ask you too, Annette, sure. because you have an incredible story. You went through Hurricane Michael back in 2018. That was a Category 5 storm. Going through that, experiencing that, and what you learned from it, how did it then lead you to where you are now with this and co-founding this company? Yeah, absolutely. So I grew up in um, right around Seattle in the Pacific Northwest, and my husband and I moved down to the panhandle of Florida in 2018. So I had my first baby as well in June 2018. So she was 12 weeks old when Michael hit. Um, so going through my first catastrophic storm with a 12 week old was absolutely terrifying. Um, and it really opened my eyes to the fact that these hurricanes, we really truly don't know. We, you know, we can give our best guess, but we really truly don't know where the eye is actually going to hit. So I started researching and I started finding that in my area, homes are built to category three standards. So, um, you know, when we were introduced to this building system, it really made so much sense to, instead of guessing, you know, living in fear, which 1.4 million people in the United States live in hurricane prone areas. So instead of living in fear, wondering where the eye is going to hit, why don't we start building resilient structures that can stand up to these storms? It's, it's, it's right. We learn from each season. And yeah. I can't believe that was your first storm you had to go through a cat five. Mm -hmm. But it's it huge. shows you what you were able to make and, and help others now moving forward. Annette Rubin, CEO and co-founder of Vero Building Systems. Thank you for joining us tonight on Fox Weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.